So in this video, we're just going to look at a really cool little sample game that's included in the Google VR SDK. You're going to notice there's this folder here called Samples, and inside of that Samples folder, there is a Castle Defense folder. So I have that downloaded right here, uh, the Samples folder. Here's the Castle Defense folder, and they have Project Settings. They have a Unity package, and here is the Assets folder. So there's a couple of ways we could do this. First of all, I'm just going to create a brand new Unity project called Castle Defense. And then we can import the uh, Castle Defense Unity package, or we could copy these folders into our asset folder. Um, I've tried both ways. It's, it's, it's exactly the same, it seems, either way. So I'm just going to import the Unity package to make it easy. And then there's a couple of changes we're going to have to make to, to kind of fix a few little problems. First of all, I haven't imported the uh, Google VR SDK. So let me do that real quick. This is the Google VR for Unity. Let's bring this in because of course we're going to need that. I should have done that first. So if you're, if you're watching this video, do, do this part first. That's probably the best way to go. And to save some time, I know I'm not going to deploy to iOS. So that should be fine. The errors are gone. If we go to the root assets folder, there's a folder of scene called scene. And here it is. We can click play. But you're going to notice that there's no sound. There's purple particle effects. That's that, that's uh, not that's not looking good. So we first of all need to go to the audio and set the spatializer to the Google VR audio spatializer. Now at least we should have some sound. Perfect. Let's fix uh, that particle effect. If you go into the game prefabs, you're going to notice there's a cannonball prefab. I'm going to drag this into the scene and focus on it for now. It's at 000. zero, zero. That's where I want it. The prefab has a explosion mobile that's turned off. We need to make sure we keep it turned off. But the script, which I believe this is a auto destroy script, and it doesn't look like we need that at all because the way that Google has it set up is it pools the um, cannonballs instead of spawning and destroying them. So we're going to remove that script. We're going to go to Trails White. We're going to see that it's not white. It is definitely pink. So underneath the Trails White, there's a child called Trail White. That has a renderer. Click on the renderer component. It's missing a material. The best material I can find that's in this project is called Ground Plane Translucent because that makes it look like this, which, you know, makes it kind of look like smoke. That's not the right material, but hey, it's in this project. It works. Works for me. Okay, moving on. We need to turn off this game object explosion mobile because it's going to get turned on when the cannonball impacts. And then I'm going to click on cannonball and I'm going to click apply so that it updates all the prefabs. And at this point I can delete that cannonball from the scene, hit play. And I can't see the sky. Let's get that fixed. That's on GVR main head, main camera, and we're just going to set that to skybox. That's going to look a lot better when we play the game. Here we go. There they are. There they are. They're coming in. Yes. He's destroyed. What are these Android cardboards? I think they're I think they're little Android cardboards. They could be gingerbread cookie though. Gingerbread cookie Android. Now I want to eat some gingerbread cookies. I need an Android cookie cutter. Or some cardboard Android guys to blow up with my cannonball. Really cool tower defense game here that comes with the Google VR SDK. A few little changes make it make it look a lot better. 
Oh no, he says. One of the cool 3D models I like in here is this one right here. Check this out. Really cool little android, low poly looking guy. All right, guys. It's not, you can, you know, go through here, dissect the scene, figure out everything that's going on. But uh, cool little sample that comes with the Google VR SDK. Check it out. Tower defense games are probably a lot of fun in mobile VR. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.